Bihar and other territories. So large number of borders have been opened and uh, consequently along with the control of terrorism that development activity has multiplied. So therefore, uh, the uh, its dividend has naturally so come. So people to. have uh, seen the benefits yeah. of the development yeah. that is yeah. taking place. Ashutosh, uh, don't you think the SM uh, landscape is very, very uh, complex? Yeah, very if complex. you look at the very percentage complex. of votes polled by yeah, uh, each yeah. of the parties. For example, Congress got about 31 percent votes, AGP got about uh, 20 percent. But the others, including the BJP, it appears got as many as uh, 48 percent votes. Mm. Yeah. So, doesn't it show that basically the Congress victory is, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, because of correct uh, arithmetics, electoral arithmetic? Yeah, it's a electoral rule, first past the post system. Yeah, surely it would be one factor. What's surprising about Assam is that this, uh, I think I was uh, expecting that Dr. Khalid would raise this thing. AUDF, which was supposed to be a emerging party, you know, I have been to Assam recently and I was told that the Muslims are moving towards AUDF. AUDF has drawn blank. So, this is one. I think my sense is that in Assam, Congress has gained from its traditional image of being a coalitional party. Because in Assam, as you said very correctly, if you see the figure, Hindus are 67 percent, Muslims are 30 percent, Assamese, if you see the language, Assamese are 58 percent, Bengalis are 22, the Schedule Caste 7 percent. You know, you have all kind of groups. It's a mini India. Assam is a mini India. Plain tribals, hill tribals. So in that kind of situation, ethnic explosion, I think Congress was benefited from being a traditional party of a okay. kind of coalitional thing. That must have gone. And as far as Dr. Gill is saying this uh, appeasement, I would call it appeasement. That has been a traditional Indian state policy towards all the borderland states, whether it's a Kashmir. Well, Abhi, that is debatable, yeah. whether it is appeasement or development. This is not appeasement. I think yes, I, I don't know. agree to I that. I mean, Kashmir, Nagaland, everywhere yep. Indian state has pumped money. No. But I agree with you, maybe some real development might have no, taken but, place. But in Kashmir, <laughs> the kind of connectivity <laughs> which has come <laughs> with the neighbor. Dr. Gill, I think, uh, you know, since we are running out of time, uh, we are yeah. going to move on to uh, uh, Tamil Nadu. Yeah. Now, a complete <laughs> landslide for the Anna DMK. Yeah. Was that expected? Uh, I won't say it was expected, no. But Tamil, uh, Tamil voters have been doing that. You know, last time also they gave a thumping majority to, D a, uh, to DMK. What is important is, as I told you, I think, I, I, uh, before the discussion started, that the two polity-wide parties, I would like to again emphasize on that point, the Congress has drawn blank from Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is a very important place. You remember, like, Tamil, uh, in the cabinet, if you see UPA 1, UPA 2, most of the ministers, I mean, the, uh, Tamil Nadu is one state where you have the maximum number of cabinet ministers holding key positions. So that way, it's a, it's a setback for Congress. Uh, as far as the DMK, ADMK, Congress has never been since 67, Congress has we never will been just come race. back to you. Rana, uh, setback for the Congress. Do you think uh, you paid the price for uh, the corruption scandals at the center? Maybe it could be uh, a point two also, but I think there is uh, more to say about this. Because in Tamil Nadu, the, uh, the, uh, the rulers who have just lost their uh, regime, there was lot of infighting within the party, family within also. the family too. And plus these corruption charges like A Raja, Kani Moji and the infighting between two brothers for the, you know, uh, taking over uh, uh, Karnanidhi's seat. I think that has resulted and that has uh, uh, spoiled the chances of uh, coming back to the power. Initially, uh, but this is a, I mean, this is a very effective point. You know, when there is in a particular house, when it is divided, it affects the voter also. Now, you know, the certain people were behind Alighieri, certain people were behind Stalin, certain people were behind A. Raja. So, all these people, they could not make up their mind and uh, the victory, they have lost the chance. Mr. Of Sori, what is the message for Congress? Many believe that it is a shot in the arm for Congress in Assam, Kerala and West Bengal. Of course, uh, the Congress has shown that it's a good governance in these states, wherever we have won. Like particularly Assam, I would say this is the third third term uh, Tarun Gogoi is coming. Right. I think it's a purely result of a good governance, development, and transparency. So you have but, but Professor Gill, some Congress. people believe <laughs> that the the Congress victory is primarily only in Assam. Yeah. In other places, it is a victory of its partners. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 In that way, no, you can say that national parties 
are in the mainland. No, but another thing in the periphery, it's the regional parties which are. The state parties who are calling the shots. U yeah, UPA state parties is calling the shots. But yeah. some yeah. Sir, even if, if we are gained. having alliance with Mamta ji, very interesting point. Professor Khalid yeah. says UPA, UPA has, has gained, gained. The Congress has not gained. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I disagree with this. Congress has also gained. Congress, I mean, it, it almost it's looks it's like a defeat and victory, really. No, I mean, <laughs> it, it is. Congress has not gained that much. You see, uh, Tamil Nadu. You see. Uh, West Bengal, even Kerala. In Kerala, uh, it's, it's not. It's not. It's, 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 it's not a substantial change. No, but at the same time, both the uh, national parties, BJP, totally decimated. Only six or seven seats in out Assam of eight hundred. Again, in Assam, it's know, again because two thousand six you know, onwards, in Assam there was always a coalition government. This time, Congress has come to power on its own. So it's a gain. And as you said, last three yeah, elections, but, 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 last four Lok Sabha elections also, Lok. Congress has been winning. So but in Assam, Congress has gained. But, 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 but since we, we were primarily talking, uh, just before this we were talking about uh, Tamil Nadu. Now before this discussion, Jasleen and I were talking and we were saying that, uh, you know, even Jayalalitha during her uh, previous regime yeah. faced huge allegations of corruption. Even yeah. now she's facing How come the voters have forgotten all that? They, they have no alternative. They, 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 they are by party system. They <laughs> either they vote for <laughs> no. I have one possible answer. answer. They remember uh, the. I have one possible answer. <laughs> I think <laughs> in the short term memory. Short memory. I okay. think in the in the in the in the present scenario, the leadership also counts a lot. You know, we are talking about a state which is yeah. such a big state, which is more than I mean in the size of a, any European state. Yeah. So Karnanidhi is a fading star. You know, with due respect to Karnanidhi, is uh, one of the with Badal Sahib is one of the senior most politician of India, but he is a fading star. He is not in a good health. So uh, Jalalita, in comparison, is much more competent. So the people also see Kon Banega Muthi Mantri. This is very important. Every state, you can see, uh, like so that's a very interest. interesting point. It's not just Kon Banega Kroodpati, but Kon Banega <laughs> Mukhyamantri. Yeah, it's a very important point. In the survey after survey, it has come. You know, in Gujarat, they say Narendra Modi should become the prime minister, not the Advani. In CSDS survey, Lokniti survey. Right. Uh, Professor Khalid, on the economic uh, front, will these uh, results give a boost to deregulation and globalization? The agenda of the Congress. Agenda of the Congress will continue. So far as globalization and uh, integration of Indian economy into the world is concerned. But uh, Congress will face a lot of problems when the demands will be, will be raised by, the, by both the powerful women CMs which are coming and which have a heavy agenda with them. The, de uh, the demands for, for, uh, for the economic development, central government will not be able to give uh, that much money because they have to keep the parity with other states and then it is going to create a problem, a center state uh, uh, relation conflict between the center government as well as both the women CMs of but the Jalika states. won't have a bargaining uh, capacity. Professor Ashutosh, since we are running out of time, Professor Gail, yeah. what is the message from these results for the left parties? Yes. Uh, one, uh, that uh, uh, left party have to do lot of uh, home task, discuss very seriously why they have lost Although they have lost election, they are not out. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think uh, with the losing uh, parliamentary left, the non-parliament left becomes very important. And the terms of discourse in the left will be decided by them. And this is also visible in terms of national agenda for development. Yeah. Earlier yeah. it was for more corporate development, uh, more companies and uh, special economic zone like things. Now what is coming, earlier Narega came. Now, in the pipeline is national food security bill, security which has, they have decided just now it is coming in the parliament. Even the women reservation. Women and, uh, and the social and agenda and is Forward becoming generation. important. You cannot ignore the struggles of the farmers uh, in Noida, in UP yeah. and other areas. So the, the sections of society which are losing their interest cannot be ignored. I think this is the basic message. Oh, it's a sad news because uh, uh, Professor uh, Ashutosh, uh, since BJP has little influence uh, in West Bengal, Kerala and Tamil Nadu, it has mainly been an on looker, on looker in the polls yeah. uh, results. So yeah. what is your view on this? I think BJP has, its strategy has been that in those states where it never had a presence, it has always tried to cash on the support of the regional party. And they succeeded in Karnataka. You know, it's a camel story. Camel and, you know, like getting into the tent and the camel owner getting out of the tent. So this is something regional parties are not now very sure about BJP. 
So this is something a setback. But I would just like to make one quick comment on Professor Gill. Quickly, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sad news that the left party is in a decline because it's only the left party which is coming out with some kind of alternative. Otherwise, you have a convergence of agenda. You know, BJP and Congress, if you see the, the economic agenda, but they are the same don't, thing. Don't forget, yeah. non-parliament left is going to decide about certain kind of agenda in the coming days. Yeah, Jaslin, I, mean, I, mean, uh, I, uh, yeah. uh, I have a question for you, Jaslin. Right. You know, you have uh, Mayawati in UP, now you're going to have Mamta in uh, West Bengal, you're going to have Jai Lalita yeah. in Tamil Nadu. Right. Uh, you know, Very the, the Lok Sabha Dichit. has so many senior uh, uh, women leaders. Where do the men go? Yeah. Well, I think it's all about, you know, challenging powerful men that the woman gets, uh, you know, noticed. I personally feel that let's not forget that they are, you know, not less uh, qualified mm -hmm. than men. So on, on this, like Professor Khaled, I would like to ask you a question. Is this an indicator of, um, uh, you know, things to come, not just, uh, you know, greater women power, but also youth power in, you know, coming uh, polls? Yeah, uh, youth power is there because uh, many new um, uh, youngsters who are getting the voting right and they have their own aspirations they are going to call the shots because it's a young India in fact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a young India. 70% of India yes, is under the This young India right. will have different kind of aspirations and the political parties will be hard pressed whether men or women you have to show good governance. You have to show good governance. What yeah, is the yeah. message uh, for these Rana for, uh, for Punjab from these results? Mm. I, I think, think corruption has been a major issue yes, I, and I, I think I, corruption strongly, in Punjab affects strong, both the Congress and the BJP. I have my strong views that muscle power and money power can't win the elections. It is the only good governance, mm. good attitude, innovative changes in the government system and administration. These things will uh, matter in future in coming elections. Right, I think on this note uh, we'll uh, thank you for coming into our studios and holding this discussion with us. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The election results of the five assembly polls would give much food for thought to all political parties. It has been good arithmetics for the Congress while a loss of face for the CPIM. There is nothing for the BJP to feel happy about. The message of the electorate is clear. They demand as the panel was saying good governance. Perhaps that is what will be the deciding issue even in Punjab, which is due to go to polls in 10 months from now. With that, we end today's prime. We meet again tomorrow with another issue. Till then, good luck and goodbye.